Thanks, Rob. Once again, tonight's main story, some of Zimbabwe's white farmers have been fleeing their homes after an increase in violence involving squatters who've been seizing their land. There is news on the hour, every hour, throughout the weekend on our digital television channel, BBC News 24. But from us, from Rob and from me, a very good night to you. Good evening to you. It's a good job the marathon wasn't taking place today. It's been absolutely diabolical across many eastern parts of England. In London, the temperature never got above six degrees, and it was raining for most of the time as well. But thankfully, tomorrow looks about being a much better day for the marathon, for the runners and for the spectators alike. I think we should see spells of sunshine through the day. And we could see a temperature in the afternoon up to maybe 12 degrees, the dizzy heights of 12 degrees. I think it's going to feel pretty warm, actually, after what we've seen today under this band of rain, which has been spilling northwards over the past few hours. It will linger now across northeastern parts of England for a while before most of it gets away into the North Sea. Some more showery bursts of rain to come tonight out in the west as well, and they'll be around for much of the night. Elsewhere, under clearing skies, it may well turn rather misty, and it'll certainly turn frosty right up the spine of the country. But low pressure will dominate for the next few days, so there's certainly some more rain to come for many of us. A grey day in the west there tomorrow with some showery bursts of rain continuing, some wintry showers up in the north as well. Elsewhere, just one or two showers breaking through. It'll certainly feel warmer with most places staying dry. Bye for now. BBC Online has total football coverage with scores, reports and fans forums at www.bbc.co.uk slash football. Why would you do it? Khalid Carnucci, he's just going for the world record. Everyone has their own reason for being there. The London Marathon, live on BBC Television and Radio 5 Live. Teenage boys, don't you just love them? Boys smell like hamsters when they're about 13 in the trouser area. Their cheery disposition. I hate going on holiday. Exemplary table manners. Shut up and you shut up now! And alternative hobbies. Big breasts. Last leg stuff like that. They get such a hard time. That is so unfair! Uh, ow! Real life confessions of troublesome times. I was a bedwetter for my early teens. Harry Enfield's Real Kevin's Thursday at 9.35 on BBC One. <laughs> Premiership football now on BBC One. All the action in Match of the Day with Gary Lineker.